From the Linmar Technology and Communication Center, we are LMTV, Linmar Television. A total look at everything happening on your Linmar campus. Linmar, your news starts now. Good morning, Linmar. It's Friday, September 10th, 2010. And here's a look at the stories making news on your Linmar campus. Our top story. Be sure to cheer on our football Lions tonight as they host Dubuque Waller. The sophomore game starts at 5 with varsity to follow. If you parked your car over at Armstrong this morning, remember, you must move it out of the lot by 4 p.m. Thanks for your cooperation. This is the final season at Armstrong Field. As progress is being made on the new stadium, which is set to open next spring, crews are now in the process of installing the all-season turf and putting in the bleachers. The lights are in place along with the scoreboard. Watch for updates right here on LMTV. The mystery of who will win the MOC parking spots is about to be revealed. Jeff joins us with that story. Jeff? Right. Thanks, Ryan. First off, the MOC class would like to thank everyone who bought an MOC raffle ticket in the past week. For anyone who doesn't know, MLC is a school course where we get work credit. So again, thanks for purchasing. The money from the raffle will be used to hold our employer appreciation banquet at the end of the year. All right, so now we're going to reveal the winners. Drum roll, please. All right. All right. Our winners are Gunther Fitch and Jenna Eels. Again, thanks everyone for purchasing an MLC raffle ticket. And with the Jenna Eels and Gunther Fitch, please see Mrs. Larson for further instructions. Ryan, back to you. Thanks, Jeff. In other news, girls interested in math, science, or engineering, listen up. This is the last day to register for the ISU conference, taking the road less traveled. See Mrs. Blakely in room G142 for more information. National Honor Society members, don't forget to pay your club dues to Mrs. Dayton by September 24th. If you order a t-shirt, the, the money is due that day as well. Now let's go back to Jeff with this morning's sports. Jeff. All right, on the scoreboard, girls swimming beat Wallert 131 to 55. Cross country at the Cedar Rapids Invitational, the girls came in 7th out of 19 teams and the guys came in 6 out of 20 teams. And the Linmar volleyball team is rated 7th in the state at the latest polls. All right, tonight in Linmar Sports. As we mentioned, football takes on Wallert tonight at Armstrong. Both teams have perfect 2-0 records, so somebody's going to end their perfect season. With your support tonight, our Lions will be coming home with the victory. Tomorrow, be sure to cheer on our varsity volleyball team as they host the Linmar Invitational. The tournament starts at 9 a.m. Also tomorrow, varsity girls swimming will swim in the Dowling Invitational. Speaking of girls swimming, the team is inviting the whole school to participate in a Pack the Pool blackout meet against Kennedy. Tuesday at 6 p.m. at Coe College. It'll be a competition between the teams to see who can pack the pool first. So come support your li swimming lions onto victory. Remember to wear all black. That's sports. Back to you. Thanks. In news from the counselors, this is the last day to turn in a job shadow application for a fall job shadow. Turn it into the counseling office. If you have any questions, see Ms. Sigtima. A representative from Barbazone School will be in the Commons during lunch today. Do you have questions about college? Come to College Planning Night presented by the College Planning Center Monday night at 6.30 in the Little Theater. Be sure to invite your parents. For details on these stories, stop by the Counseling Office or check out their website. Now Abby joins us with the Arts and Clubs. Thank you, Ryan. On the Linmar club scene, attention Tri students, if you are interested in Tri Troop, an acting group that does presentations to elementary students, please see Kevin McCauley. Math team members, there will be a member, uh, practice Monday and Wednesday next week after school in room F157. Uh, the last registration date for the trip to France is quickly approaching. Please see your French teacher for more information. That's your club update. Back to you. Thanks. This just in. Would Emily Baker go to homecoming with... Ryan Niemeyer. I don't know who this is, but Emily, I think you should go with him. He sounds like a nice guy. Now Jeff joins us with this lunch. All right, thanks, Ryan. It's popcorn chicken with <laughs> broccoli and cheese, a fruit cup, and a peanut butter cookie. The other lines will offer the sub sandwich bar or chef salad. That's lunch, Ryan. Back to you. Thank you. Grab the rain gear if you're going to the game tonight. Your Elm TV forecast calls for a chance of showers this afternoon with a high of 72. Tonight, showers and storms are likely with a low of 59. And tomorrow, there's a chance of rain in the morning with a high of 73. 
That wraps up today's edition on LMTV News. Remember, LMTV is always online. Just go to the high school website. For the entire cast and crew, thanks for watching. Join us again on Monday and make it a great day, Linmar.